All right. Good morning, everybody. We're going to try something a little different this morning. Just testing the DaVinci's capability of two audio sources from two different audio sources and see if I can figure out how to get the uh, audio to synchronize it. That way I can um, plug in footage from two different cameras or screen desktop screen and video. So I'm just checking to see how that works. Um, so let's get to it. Okay. So what I had to do to get this to work and I'm sure there's multiple ways to do it, but my novice self to get it to sync the audio from my clip that came from the desktop and it's using my beacon mic, which is the better mic versus the audio coming from the actual video of myself. I needed to separate that audio from this clip so I could do the synchronization. So what I did was, is I dragged this down here and then audio two is the actual audio that I need. So I'm going to unlink these, grab just this and drag it up and drop it back into my media bin. And what it did is it created just the audio track of the better microphone. So then I get rid of all this off my timeline. Then what you do is you highlight the audio. And then you also highlight, well, I have to hold the control key down to do this, highlight the, the uh, video that I want to synchronize that with. Then you right click and you choose audio sync, auto sync audio. And then I choose the based on waveform and append tracks. Or you can pick based on waveform and that just embeds it in there. And then you have to go look at the attributes to see what it's actually doing. So I'm going to do this one and then it, it did, it doesn't look like it did anything, but it did do it. So then I grab this and drag this in my timeline. And so now this one actually has two audio tracks in it. It's got the original and my desktop audio from my better microphone. So I'm not a hundred percent sure why it does this and I need to dig into this more. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments, but on the better audio channel that I'm going to use, cause I'm just going to delete this channel off of it. Cause that's the audio that came from the video. If you right click on this and look at the clip attributes, it does show the link channels one and two, but that's not the right audio. That's actually the audio from my desktop, from this original where I pulled this out. So I'm assuming that when I pulled this audio out, it pulls both tracks. So all I had to do was go in here to the this attributes and change the link channel one and two to the link channels three and four. And that is the right audio that I, that I want. Yeah, that's the right audio and it should be in sync with what I'm wanting to do. So then obviously the third thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this altogether because I don't want, I don't need this, this track. Oops. So I'm going to highlight it and delete it out. And then I'm just going to move this track up and then I will link these back together. And then I'm going to find where I want to start at, which my video is going to start right here. And then we'll just see if this is the right stuff. So I will, I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut right here. And I'm going to get rid of everything here and then I'll hit play to see what it does. All right. Good morning, everybody. 
in sync. We're going to try something a little different this morning. Now, <laughs> I will now uh, grab the footage from this and put it in here and see what it looks like. It's just really a simple short test for my own edification. Thank you. I'll catch y'all in the next one. 